hey what is up guys welcome back to ProTraders path i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to talk about a few things okay so what if i had to start everything all over again let's say you are trying to learn ict you have learned a few things but you are unable to implement it in your trading you are not profitable yet or you are new to ict you want to start again or you want to start new ict concepts and then you want to implement it in your trading journey so where should you start okay there will be a lot of things that people are talking about but for now please focus on what I'm saying after watching my video you can simply unsubscribe me unsubscribe my channel or if you like me you can stay in the channel it's completely up to you but what I'm going to share here is because you are wasting time on someone else's ideas when the whole thing whole concept every lesson everything is available on youtube for free on ict himself the maker the builder the founder of this concept of this strategy right so what you are doing is nothing but wasting your time yes you cannot ask ict straight away if you have any confusion and for that the community is important but if you don't know anything and if you're trying to learn the things from someone else this is where you're making the mistake so here what i'm doing here is i'm trying to give you guys the lessons the ideas that can simplify things okay this is the most important thing that you can get from my channel as simple as that i'm not here to give you how to enter how to exit i'm not here to give you where to target what to look for things like that i'm here to give you all the definitions when and how you can focus on those things and how you can use it or implement it in your own trading model okay now ict himself has a lot of modification over time don't get me wrong i will give you proof you will find the proof if you follow the things that i'm gonna share with you here so why i'm suggesting you guys all to stop watching the 2022 ICD model or 2022 ICD mentorship is because there are a lot of things that ICT talked about before the 2022 model that you guys don't know and when you first start to watch the 2022 model or try to learn from it there will be a lot of informations that will be confusing to you guys a lot of you will know I know the fact I know how to trade and then when it is time for you to execute the trade on a real market or real-time data with your real money or even like the funded challenges or whatever even with your paper trading account you will lose your money the reason behind that is a lot of things that ICT has talked earlier you are missing or skipping all those things so number one thing is stop watching the ICT 2022 model or mentorship okay then where should you start start from the scout sniper model now i have this here and i will try to put the link of this scout sniper in my video description why you need to watch this is because there are a lot of things that ict talked here if you understand this single thing or this single strategy here the series the guides that you can see here with only eight videos this is good enough to make you profitable trust me when i'm saying this okay when you watch every single video try to observe it try to take it in your mind or try to catch every information that ict is providing in these eight videos you will be profitable by using only this information and if you have already watched the 2022 mentorship a lot of other things will be clear when you will be watching this okay so this video is a recommendation video so try to start from here if you are losing your trades if you are not becoming profitable try to start from here once you finish that you want to learn more go to the ict market maker prime course if you finish all these there are 24 videos over here after the first part after watching the scout sniper model okay you watch so market maker primer course if you watch this one you will know everything that you need to know as simple as that you see target selection and profit objectives how you select that trading psychology effective journaling everything you need to know higher time frame concepts 
secret to swing trading now asia range time and price theory weekly bias london close kill zone new york kill zone asian kills every single thing that you need to know you will find here so ict has the atm method here ict has the i optimal trade entry that's the fib fib levels ict had the videos regarding those everything here every video just finish once you don't need to watch it over and over again if you have some idea you will know what he's talking about within like with your first visit or first watch now once you are done with the primer course go for the core content month 4 to month 9 this is not even all together it's not even a tv series or a season that you want to watch so watch this instead of a tv series okay instead of watching game of thrones watch this this will give you something for your life for more why i said for more for more education okay for more education start the core content from month four to month nine you don't need to watch month one two three when i'm saying this i'm trying to save your time okay so yes just start from the sniper scout sniper model then the market maker primer course and then if you are learning something if you think you need to learn more go for this one i I'm assuming you have either already watched the 2022 model, you know some concept or basics of it, or you are starting brand new, okay? Remember, everything I'm showing you here on these three, like from number two to number four, these are all came before 2022 model. Now, the came, why I said came before is it's, as you can see, the primer meant like ICT premium mentorship core content month four. Yes, the upload may be after the 2022 model, but this is the mentorship that was people paying for. This is what people were paying for before. Okay. Maybe it came later on because that's when he thought to make it public or make it for free, uh, free for everyone. However, look at the days 2016, 2017, 2017. 2017 2017 okay and what you guys are starting with you guys are starting with a 2022 model so what happened the studies before that so let's say you are trying to get a uh, bachelor's degree or, or a what it calls or a even master's degree you are skipping your first semester second semester third semester and you are straight away going to your final exam or final semester is it is it something that you you think you will go you will pass maybe with your studies or a little bit of observation you can answer few of the questions but can you answer all of the questions why i'm saying this is because people who only watched the 2022 model they don't know that ICT has disclosed everything, liquidity pool, liquidity void, vacuum block, I mean breaker block, mitigation block, order block, rejection block, what, what the theories are, just name it, everything is here on month 4. Now if you started with the 2022 model, you will say ICT never talked about the order block or breaker block, he said it's for later use, it's for this, that no 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 no. that's wrong ict already talked about it yes if he wants he can modify his uh, definitions he can add or uh, deduct few of the informations that he has provided here but this is good enough for you to understand what the order block is what the mitigation block breaker block rejection block everything reclaimed order block have you heard about this now if i start to talk about it some people will say like this is something new he is making ICT never talked about it who never watched it okay and some people will say where did you find it did it did ICT talked about it yes ICT talked about everything that he showed in his recent videos whatever he is saying whatever he is mentioning everything ICT already talked about now this is why you should start with this okay but why I'm saying this is because here you will find everything that you need to know. With these eight videos, you will have enough information, enough knowledge. If you practice it, backtest, forward test it, you will have enough knowledge to become profitable. That's what I'm guaranteeing you. Okay. If 
you find this interesting and if it makes you craving for more knowledge go for the market maker primer course okay now people who have started with 2022 model they will know a very few things what is here the otz optimal trading entry ote or otz optimal trade zone or entry however you want to recall it you will see ICT talking about those where did I find it on my on my own strategy from here that's what I use every time right when I enter into a trade in my OTZ or OTE that is every time giving me a discount entry for a long and a premium entry for a short every time okay hundred percent of the time I'm using that where did I got it from here now I was referring to this sort of videos in my live stream and other things that's why you can see like I have it's it's showing that I just watched this much and this much but trust me when I'm saying this I have watched every single of this video on my other computer and this is why I know where to go you see the London kill zone Asian kill zone market structure risk management consolidation or, con or sorry consideration in risk management focus I mean just look why are you looking into someone else yes it's good to have a community yes it's good to have someone who can answer your questions who are using these informations and i'm here as long as you want to know something from me i'll try to give you the appropriate thing i'm not gonna give you something that is like this is my thing i i created this i'm not gonna give you that okay macro or silver bullet nothing nothing that i'm gonna give you is outside of ict yes ict even he himself said it's not fixed or it's not the only way to trade so you will always have to find out the edge on the market by yourself things that are easier that makes your life easier while trading less confused or more um, informative in a short possible way or simplest way you use that regarding your trading so yes let me get back to here let's say you don't want to learn any of these two okay this is too old for you or it you are not finding it any valuable go for the core content month four start from month four end or watch until it's month nine why i'm saying this is because on month four or this is on the prim, uh, primer course so let's go to month four month four you will have everything in very small videos okay and there is less of the gossip inside of these things because these are the paid content that people previously paid ICT to learn okay to learn from this is the course that he was doing during paid mentorships now he is willing to make it free for everyone that's why it came later than the 2022 model but most of it you will find it came earlier now open float ibda what what are these i'm gonna talk about that in a short moment pdrs remember i i talked about this in my um, live stream during, during my live stream if you are, you are there you will know why i talked about this okay so pdrs what are this this is premium and discount arrays what are the arrays it can be liquidity void it can be breaker block it can be order block it can be fair value gap anything that ICT used so far he talked about those things here and what is that month five now let's go to month six month six what can you see over here ideal swing trading conditions for market this is mostly for the swing tradings now high probability bull market bear market then reducing risk keys to selecting market that will move explosively the million dollar swing setup a lot of things is this is mostly for the swing traders but can you use it for your uh, day trading think can you use it yes you can use it why i'm saying this that you can use it in your day trading because swing trading is what you are trading on a higher time frame like here I'm on a daily time frame maybe I'm trading on a one hour or maybe four four hour time frame if I'm trading on one hour 
everything takes at least a couple of days to form okay a fair value gap retest a uh, like most of the things whatever you are talking here it will take couple of days to form and then to hit your uh, profit target or anything that you are selecting a stop loss profit whatever it is it's gonna take longer so that's what swing trading is and that's why i'm saying like if you watch this you can use it in your day trading as well and this is where your your flexibility your customization will take place however you are facing your market you have to make it your own okay and that's what ICT also talked about. You can change his things to your things just to make it work better. Now on the mentorship seven, what it is? Short term trending market maker manipulation template. You know manipulation, right? AMD, accumulation manipulation and uh, distribution, AMD setup. You will find here low resistance. Someone in my live stream talked about this. You see, like ask me about this low resistance and high resistance. This is what it looks like. High speed or low resistance, however you want to take it. What are they? Then there are overlapping model, reversals, one shot, one kill model. Where is this coming from? All from the 2017 mentorship. If you learn this, you will find it valuable. Now on the month eight, you saw like high probability day trade setup, high time frame trade entries, avoid London session, when to avoid London session. Have anyone talked about it? No. But ICT already did talk about it, when to avoid the London session. Intraday profile, projecting daily highs and lows, why this is important. You saw me drawing this during my live stream. Central bank dealer range whatever like defining daily range essential for ICT day trading you want to watch this not the 2022 model now on the month seven what what you have sentiment effect filling numbers pips per day trading a lot of things you see that bread and butter setup I mean just look what else do you need everything you can see ICT has already talked about here okay so at least what i suggest is you need to watch until month four month five these two are the most important core content that you can watch now on the month six this is enough for you to know how the bias works or how to figure out the bias this is something that I would suggest you all to watch just because of the content that he's providing it has a lot of things now I had a video selected over here okay I wanted to talk about this during my live stream but unfortunately my internet service is I don't know what's going on with my internet it's very 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 bad and I was unable to continue with my internet uh, with my live stream so I thought to make a short video like as short as i possibly can and this is the outcome of that okay i don't know how long it will be but this is what i'm trying to give you guys now you see this month 12 core mentorship there is just look i have watched almost every single video like i watched every single video but here like time frame selection and defining setups you don't want to watch this you want to watch 2022 mentorship which is not even something that people paid for before what is more important here learning this time frame selection and defining now let's talk about this on a little bit i want you guys to go and watch this video ict core mentorship like people who has some knowledge about ict concept or ICT, ict trading strategy you go and watch this one I'm gonna give you some magical moments some key moments why I trust or why I try to actually use different time frames to find a good setup carry that over into the intraday charts now here's where we have to decide what we're going to be doing are we gonna drop down from a four hour to a 60 minute chart or are we gonna drop down to a 30 minute chart a 15 minute chart a five minute chart even a one minute chart I didn't include it because I don't like one minute charts but 
you need to decide where you're going to go from four hour. So I don't want to push you into a mold and say it has to be this way because there's obviously many different ways to look at time. 60 minutes is a decent time frame to drop down to, but it's still going to have to be refined a little bit more. Uh, I like to go down from a four hour down to a 30 minute or 15 personally, and then further refine it for five minute. If I can get my entries and executions off on the five minute, that's great. But I'm usually looking for the setups to confirm entries on 15 minutes. I have kept note, okay, that, that's why I know where to go and when to go. Now here, he's talking about a few things, time of the day, kill zone, things, are, things like that. So let's see what he has to say over here. And then I'm going to be looking at specific times of the day, and these are your kill zones. That's London Open, New York Open, London Close, and Asia. Now I'm going to be including the central bank dealers range. So I'm going to be incorporating that range in price, looking for the consolidations in there. And I'm going to be looking for standard deviations to align with potential highs and lows of the day. I'm going to pause here because I know after this video, you guys will go and watch this one. Okay, how you can find it? Intraday top-down analysis, you search this at ICT's channel okay so how you can do that is you can go to ICT's channel right here intraday top-down analysis the first thing that you can see ICT core content month 12 intraday top-down analysis this is the video I'll try to put the link in my description for every single playlist that I have suggested here and if you are still watching my videos feel free to let me know if this video was useful or helpful to you okay so this is what you need to watch. Stop trading until December. Okay, this month will be very bad. November, December, it will be very bad. So start a new year with a new, a new version, a better version of yourself. What I'm trying to teach here, before 2024, January comes, I want you all to know how to trade. As simple as that. I'm gonna give you guys a lot of other things, simplify things for you guys, but, as I said, I'm not going to give you so many, like whatever I'm showing you here, I'm getting those from my city. You have to believe me when I'm saying this. I'm not gonna give you every day references like this, okay? I'm not gonna show you that ICT actually talked about it like this. I'm not gonna show you every time. But why I'm saying this is because I'm trying to teach here the way the lessons should be. I'm not gonna give you a word and make a sentence straight away. I'm gonna teach you how to make that word first. How A, B, C, D, these things are, these things are called or these things are formed. And then how you can use it to build a word first and then how you can build a sentence using that word. I'm not gonna give you a straight away how to build a word, okay? If you get that, you will never learn. You, you can memorize one single word, you will never be able to talk or speak in, in front of other people. Now I'm from Bangladesh, I'm speaking in English for several days, okay? Hours after hours I can speak in English. Now I don't know if my pronunciation of the parlance, the way I speak is the accent is actually something that you can relate to or not, but I don't care about that. I have good enough communication skill I, ha I can read it, I can write it, I can, you know, like I can use it the way I can use my own language, my mother tongue. The same thing I can do with other couple of other languages as well. I don't just memorize one or two simple words or sentences to do that before your next entry. You must watch it. Now I'm gonna go through some of the key things that ICT talked about and I'm gonna end my video over here. And every single video that I have suggested here will be linked in my description. So if it's hard for you to find, I will help you with that as well. So make sure to use my description and the links that I'm gonna provide, okay? So yes, uh, let's go to 10 minutes and 10 seconds, what he said over there. I have, as I'm saying, I have everything as my, in my notes. I have taken notes. I'm not just watching it. I'm actually taking notes so that I can provide the information correctly to you guys. Let's stop here. Blend those things together. And again, 
It's all about the PDRA matrix. If you don't use that or understand it, you're not going to be consistent with my stuff. It's simple as that. Okay, the Asian range. If my higher time frame analysis is bullish, I will look to enter longs below the Asian range high, preferably under the low. If my higher time frame analysis is bearish, I will look to enter shorts above the Asian range low, preferably above the Asian range high. Now let me rephrase that so you, we understand each other perfectly. If I'm bullish, the best scenario is to go long below the Asian range low. But as long as I'm below the Asian range high, I'll still take what I consider high probability longs. If I'm bearish, I preferably want to go short above the Asian range high. But as long as I'm trading short above the Asian range low, it's still defined as a high probability scenario. Now, if I'm bullish, I expect the Asian range high to be retested for entry as support or adding to open positions for a long. If I'm bearish and I expect Asian range low to be retested for an entry short or adding to an open position for short holdings. Now what he's saying here is what I have talked about during my silver bullet videos or during my live streams, which is if you are going to go for a long setup, look like in the London session, okay? You want to enter when the market is below the Asia range low because you want to see during your london session silver bullet is market already took your asia sessions low and now it's aiming for the asia sessions high or even higher if there is lot of liquidity resting above now same thing or the opposite thing is true for a short setup if london session silver bullet has taken asia sessions high and your uh, bias is towards the downside you try to enter when price is trading above the Asia, Asia sessions high. Same thing. Okay, where did I found it from? You saw this? This is where I found it from. You saw every single video I have watched. Now, it since I'm referring to few parts, that's why you can see it's not showing that I have watched 100% of it. But trust me when I'm saying this. Okay, I have watched every single video here. Don't be a slave to the chart. Don't be the deer in the headlight. Okay. Why I'm doing this? You will not find an entry setup in your one minute. You will not find an entry setup in 15 minutes chart. But if you switch between the charts, you will find your entry setup very clear in other time frames. If you have two minutes available, do it on two minutes, three, four, five, whatever. That's what ICT himself is talking about. Okay. And I will give you that in a, in a very short second. Stay with me after equal highs or a higher high is formed. Price will eventually drop down into the fair value gap and under the short term low forming after the impulse price swing forms. Sell stops are triggered. Smart money uses offset accumulation to pair long entries with the sell stop rate for a discount entry. Everything is explained here in this picture. You've seen this happen many, many times in the mentorship. I've outlined this. And we saw many times where either I participated and it didn't work out or I participated and it worked out or I outlined it. I didn't do a demo trade and it actually panned out. So you've seen all aspects of it where it didn't work, where it did work and when I called it and didn't participate and it worked out in, in terms of price action. This to me, this is my fair value play or optimal trade entry. This is the actual optimal trade entry in great detail that wasn't explained when I was on the forums back in 2010. So when I came out on the scene, everybody was simply looking for 62 to 79% tracement levels to get into ICT optimal trade entries. Pulling a FIB from the low up to the impulse swing after it tries to make an attempt to rally higher, then when it drops down to optimal trade entry, either 62, 70.5, or 79% tracement levels, that overlapping with a fair value gap a short term low where the sell stops will be residing and back into a bullish order block, you have four things going for you. Four, you have four confluences. If you have that with higher time frame bullishness, you have a lead pipe cinch doozy. If it's going to go up, it's going to go up really strong on this because you have four things going for you. It's not a guarantee. It's not guaranteed to go up, but I have learned in my own analysis, my study, that this is the criteria 
that works more than any other. There's no, sorry. You guys need to learn it by yourself. Okay, I'm not gonna give you everything, but why I'm saying this is because you see what he's talking about impulse swings. Remember this impulse, this word, because I wanted to make a video how to define your uh, how to define your discount and premium using that impulse. But I know that since I haven't talked about it and 90% of the people who are watching or maybe even more or maybe the 100% of the people who are watching my videos, they either know the 2022 model or they're trying to learn it from the beginning. So this word impulse, I will explain it in a different video when I will talk about my PDRS or premium discount errors. Okay. The thing is, you see this impulse swing created, impulse swing low, things like that. I will talk about it and remember this word, word calls impulse. Okay. Now I missed on something because I already saw few of the YouTubers or few of my viewers who are watching other YouTubers. They were misleaded by other people that you should not look for multiple time frames to enter into a trade. ICT doesn't do that, this or that. ICT does it, it's in his 2022 mentorship, it's in his core contents, premium core contents. Now let me get back to the part where he talked about multiple time frames selection. Okay, why I'm saying this is because I actually missed it. I stopped the video too early, that's why, okay. Identify directional bias for the high time frame intraday for our chart. Classify the PDA rays accurately to assist in key levels. Complete an institutional analysis on a four hour basis. A four hour to a 60 minute chart, where we're going to drop down to a 30 minute one, push you into a mold and say it has to be this way because there's obviously many different ways to look at time. 60 minutes is a decent time frame to drop down to, but it's still going to have to be refined a little bit more. Uh, I like to go down from a four hour down to a 30 minute or 15 personally. And then further refine it for five minute if I can get my entries and executions off on the five minute that's great but I'm usually looking for the setups to confirm entries on 15 minute minimum the best is to get it down into a five minute but I don't always have the luxury of getting into a five minute chart to refine it but if I do I'm going to certainly try to do that but from four hour down to the next time frame, I'll leave that up to you because I just got to be some measure of personalized approach. In other words, you got to be able to make it work for you. And the reason why it's got to be flexible is because the time frames below four hour may be muddy on the 60 minute chart, but may be a lot more clear with gaps and such on the 15 minute or five minute chart. So it's important that you know when we drop down from a four hour, what we're doing is we're looking for a time frame that produces fair value gaps. That's the key. So you may not see a fair value gap going down into a one hour chart, but it may exist on a 15 minute time frame. So that way you can pick your PD arrays relative to gaps, bullish order blocks, breakers of that nature. But you'll be able to see it on those lower time frames because they can become more spotty. The higher time frames are going to smooth out price. The lower time frames are going to create those little pockets of illiquidity where it needs to be refinished and refined. So. What I'm saying here is ICT himself is talking about defining different time frames. Now, let's go back to the ES chart for, for a moment being. Why I said that I try to look for setups in different time frames. Now here on 15 minutes, you can see market is consolidating. Okay, there is no fair value gap within these runs except for some volume imbalances okay there is no fair value let's see how five minutes looks around that area now you will have little bit of fair values over here okay now this is not a entry that i'm talking about let's say this is your market structure shift with that week okay you you are expecting market to come lower and grab all these liquidities now let's go to three minutes let's see what happens over there why I'm saying this is because this is very important. Now on three minutes, you have a clear liquidity grab. You have some sort of market structure shift. You have some volume imbalance. That's where price went and then started going lower. Now is this entry setup? I don't really know because I'm not into the market. In one minute, 
uh, sorry in two minutes you will have a fair value gap around that area that was missing in five minutes 15 minutes or even three minutes what i'm saying here is ict himself is giving us the flexibility to look between different time frames some people didn't find a good entry setup on other days okay when a lot of people found a very good entry setup why i'm saying this is because if you always keep your eye on one single time frame when market is going crazy low or lower okay you see like lots of consolidations over here and then price took the liquidity went above started going up high now pdrs what i said about optimal trade entry you see that six to seven on seven nine level that optimal trade entry zone this is the fair value that's aligning and there is this small little part of the fair value that's aligning so your focus should be around this area your um entry should be either one even if you're entering into this fair value gap that six to level will be your entry yes sometimes you will miss your entry sometimes price will not give you the entry but look what happened even if you like the entry should look something like this okay I'm, i just choose a random area and that's what i'm showing but this is your this is your optimal trade zone where you should enter okay and this is how far it went but usually if you target this it will even give you a good risk to reward and what i said about my um setup is i always target one to two and that's what price delivered what i said over and over again if a fair value gap in your discount or premium range is getting retested the highest level that price went before retesting that fair value that liquidity will be taken no matter what okay and that's what price did this liquidity was what price targeted and depending on your entry you can consider going for one to two or even higher okay now if you entered into here if you target one to two that's what i target i'm not saying you must have to target that but look it delivered that one to two went little higher then it started falling on more time okay so you don't need to go for all this choppiness once market come to that area you ignore this why i'm saying you ignore this let's come here one more time you see when price was retracing from here this is where your premium zone was ent entry was price came here it didn't give you the let me go to the premium and discount is it in discount or is it in premium this retracement was in premium this is the only retracement that came in discount so this is where you are planning to enter into a market it's very important to wait okay it's very important to wait for the market to come to your area so this swing low is not in your discount okay from this to that that is the impulse i see you're talking about from here to here this is another impulse and if you wanted to enter anywhere here that is wrong because market didn't retested this impulse yet so that is why i told you guys to drag until you get your order filled or uh, sorry until you get your market retesting or retracing to your otg so what i showed here is that's your otg you see that's your otg and that is where market later on came now it went up to this far that's why i'm pulling it to there keeping that one or the starting point at the same level and then it when market was here and giving you this red candle or retracement candle you draw your otg you mark here you put your entry here okay since it's your model let's say there are other confluences included this is a long setup you wait until market came here it didn't come here it started going up high again you saw here market is showing some retracement or some sign of retracement it still didn't come here when this was created you pull like this still nothing came inside of your otg when this one was created you pull there market coming lower and it retested or revisited your otg and there are two fair value gaps okay this is one and there is another fair value gap which is this one 
market came here market came there both of the places was retested during this time now what you want to do is when the fair value gap is like this this six on level is where you want to enter not on top of the fair value not here you want to enter on the six on level so that's the fair value and that's your six on level a stop loss at one and then target this or one to two if the target is not giving you one to two that's where you target if your entry was on the seven on level then since there is nothing to look for here but still you can target the seven on because of this dozy candle and volume imbalance or or the low of your uh, fair value but this is not optimal actually because the optimal would be six two or the seven on these are the areas you want to look for your entries now this fair value also aligns with your uh, otz let's say there was no fair value like this where you want to take your entry also on top here and now the same zero level is giving you one to three risk to reward and it's also less from this corner as well like the stop loss is also smaller now now you will get a huge profit over there for every hundred dollars you are getting 313 so yes guys um i hope i have provided enough information as i said over and over again all the links will be in my video description you can start from there and let me know after watching all the videos that i have recommended on my channel in this video if it was helpful to you guys or not and yeah i mean if you're learning from me just to let you guys know that everything that i'm showing here or suggesting here or talking about on my channel is coming out from ICT okay and stop watching the 2022 model start from the scout sniper then go for the market maker primer course or if you don't like those things watch at least once all of those try to memorize or take notes as many informations as many you can from those things and then start from the core content month 4 to month 9 okay everything you need to know i will be providing in my channel okay so until next time take a very good care of yourself your health and your family as well take care bye bye